Alright! That's the sound of war! And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemy and smite the highmost of them. Fall upon them! Fall upon them! Fall upon them! them. Fall upon them. Fall upon them. Fall upon them. Greetings in the house of David. I am people, and my goal is to reach people all over the world. Right here in the house of David, we have the truth, and that is the house of Saul is Christianity, and the house of David is Islam. Now, the problem with Christians when they read the Bible, when they get to the parables, they take everything that Jesus spoke literally. But if you go to Matthew 13 and 34, everything Jesus spoke was in a parable. He spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to the Pharisees in parables, and he was misunderstood. Even when he privately spoke to his own disciples, they didn't fully get him. Jesus was a highly misunderstood individual. So when you get to these scriptures that say, I and my father is one, and he that have seen me have seen the father, you can't take that literally. First of all, you got to deal with how is Jesus called the son of man and he calls himself the son of God. Which is it? Those both are opposite. Now, these questions, your church don't know what to do with. But right here in the house of David, we have the truth. I'm going to leave you with this. Canaan, he was cursed as a result of what his father did. His father, by the name of Ham, seen his father's nakedness. And Canaan was cursed to be a servant. He didn't do anything. He was born into a curse. And it's the same thing with the prophet Esau. You call him Jesus. He was born into a predicament that Paul put him in. Paul made him Lord of the Christian church. And he was the father of the Christian church. Paul made Jesus the son of God. And he was the father. Okay. He was the God. Okay. That's why God is spelled G-O-D backwards, it's dog. It is all pointing to the wolf in sheep clothing. Now, Jesus had to be the curse of Canaan. He was a servant of servants. That's why in the Quran, we have the perfect balance of him. He's not called the son of man. He's not called the son of God. He's simply called the son of Mary. Also, he is not God. He is a messenger. We have the perfect balance of of the prophet Isa. Now, most people, they don't understand that Paul was a false Abraham. There's a such thing as a false Abraham. And Paul was the false Abraham. When he said, I and my father is one speaking of Jesus, you know who that was speaking of? That was speaking of Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing. He was the false Abraham that Jesus was exposing. He wasn't talking about Abraham in Genesis because Jesus spoke in parables. When Jesus said, I am my father is one, he was speaking to Paul. When he said, he that have seen me have seen the father, he was speaking of Paul because Paul was the father. He was trying to get you to see that him and Paul are both equal. This goes back to all those stories in the Bible you fail to understand about the twin brothers, Zerah and Perez and Jacob and Esau. This is going into Jacob, who's been grabbing a hold of Esau or Esau. This is going into Paul and Jesus. Paul and Jesus are both in a predicament. And Paul is the one who put Jesus in this predicament. Why? He claimed to be the father. And Jesus had to bear the curse. He did not die yet. Christian, he didn't die yet. Okay? God is going to show the world that Jesus is not God when he causes him to die. Jesus had a supernatural birth. In other words, everybody thought he was God. But at the end, he's going to have a natural death because everybody's going to know that he is no God when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes him to die. Now, these Christians, they don't study. They don't even have one scripture in the Bible where it says Jesus is God. They got to look like people looking for gold. You know, you see them with their little wands walking around and, and, and then they pick up a little nugget and they're like, oh, oh, I found something. No, that's not gold. Christians are all through the Bible finding every little thing that they can get to make it seem like Jesus is God. Jesus is not God. There's not one scripture verbatim. 
that says Jesus is God. Now, I'm telling the truth. But there is a scripture verbatim that says God is not a man. There is scriptures verbatim that say Jesus is a man. What are Christians doing? They're ignoring what the Bible actually says to go with what they think the Bible means. All right. Join me right here in the house of David. We need to get this truth out. I have many videos expounding on Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing, who came out of the desert, the same place Jesus warned of with the false signs and the false miracles. Everything you see in the life of Paul, you see in the life of King Saul. OK, King Saul was the father of David, and it's the same thing with Paul. Paul is the father of Jesus. Now, don't get don't run. Hold up. There's going to come a day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to allow Jesus to break the yoke from off of his neck and he will come back and destroy the cross. So right there was just a brief clip of what's going on right here in the house of David. Share this channel, like it, subscribe so we can get this truth out. There is a scripture that says fight with nobody great, fight with nobody small. Fight only with the king of Israel. And we know that is Saul. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.